Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can now use B-RAW footage uh, that you might have shot on your Blackmagic uh, either 6K or 4K and how you can import that now into Final Cut using this plugin. So in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can use this plugin to now work uh, with B-RAW uh, directly in Final Cut. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through uh, a new plugin that uh, has been released for Final Cut Pro that allows you to use Blackmagic B-RAW uh, in Final Cut so that you can edit uh, actual B-RAW footage uh, in, your, in the Final Cut NLE uh, which really for me opens up a lot of possibilities. I would say it very much uh, you know, smooths out my workflow in terms of my editing. Uh, normally I'll shoot uh, B-RAW and put it into DaVinci and I, I would usually color grade the footage and then convert it to a ProRes um, you know, version and then edit it in my NLE which is Final Cut. Uh, obviously that's not ideal, you know, usually you want to edit the color grade uh, in you know, the post after you've kind of done your edits. Uh, but in this way I'm able to kind of streamline it so that it goes straight into Final Cut and I, I guess I can also edit uh, the final color grade in DaVinci uh, by using this plugin. So in this video I'm going to walk you through uh, this latest plugin which is called uh, B-RAW Toolbox and it's I think right now off 50% off. Uh, it's definitely not a cheap uh, plugin but at least for me it's worth it for how many hours and just the, the time and energy I'm going to save uh, by using this plugin. So what makes this great is that you can you know import the B-RAW footage, gives you a host of different metadata, and then allows you to still adjust the color temperature, the exposure, the ISO, uh, also the tint of the video clip. Uh, this way you know you can change in post uh, the metadata of the raw clip, which you know is a very powerful feature uh, of using raw footage. So uh, in order to download, you know, the B-RAW toolbox, first thing you're going to do is go to the App Store and you'll find it here. But once you've downloaded the app, this is, I believe, the first screen you're going to see. And it's just going to, you know, make sure that you install the motion template uh, you have to install, the metadata view installed, and then also LUTs installed. And so actually this app, B-RAW toolbox, will apply a LUT to uh, your, you know, raw footage. Once you actually want to open up B-RAW, you're going to find it here. It's in the extension uh, menu. So here you can just gonna click on B-RAW. And actually another way to open it is going to Window and going to Extensions and then open it that way. And so this is actually when I was in Ottawa. But um, so when you, you import the B-RAW, um, the Blackmagic software, you're able to edit some of this data as well. Uh, but in this case, you know, just shot all in 23 frames per second. And in here is where all the camera metadata is and where you can actually adjust it. it um, so because I shot a darker shot or even bright it up a bit, that's how I do that. You can adjust the exposure. And I, I believe I've already kind of went over a bit of this. But what else to kind of show you is that once this is all done, right? So once you've done all your changes, you can also, well, I guess should mention that um, the first thing you probably want to do is you want to make sure that it's, you know, I guess what I added in this uh, 4K. So I make it automatic ultra HD here. But then in order for you to change that, so it's always that way, you can just go here default, uh, default quality here, decode quality, and just, you know, ensure it's ultra HD that way each time it's just going to open up in a 4K timeline. And, you know, you can set your color, uh, you know, color space. That's a little more advanced, but I mean, for most people, you're probably going to be okay with 709. And what you can also do, <clears throat> let's say you want to copy all this like data, right, to another clip. You, you just have to what, go here and click Copy Checked Items, right, and it's going to say OK. And then your next clip, you can go and you can just apply Check to All. Are you sure you want to apply the check? Yes. So I believe it applied. Uh, that you know, but th that way you can um, you can basically adjust between clips. And once you're done with 
this, it's gonna, what it's gonna do is, so you can click here, prepare b rod files, right? Yes. And then what it's gonna do is here, it's gonna generate an event. And in order for you to get this into Final Cut, you know, you're gonna have to ensure that you have a library. So I have another screen on my computer. I'm not sure if this can be, you can see this, but basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this and drag it onto your library. And it's gonna generate an event. And then that event will have all your B-Rod um, videos in it. And, you know, voila, right? So if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.